I am Slick Nick, your personal certified Enneagram coach. What I thought would be cool is if we were to look at the political parties in the United States and assign them an Enneagram. So let's go ahead and get started. And please know that while I am a certified Enneagram coach, it doesn't mean I know everything and I have all the answers. So by all means, please put your assessment in the comments below if you have a strong opinion on what you think the Enneagram of this political party actually is. I'm totally cool with it. Maybe you're an Enneagram 8 and you want to challenge me. Go for it. Speaking of, let's start with the Republican Party. I'm going to say that they are Enneagram 8 with a 7 wing. Now, I will acknowledge, I feel Donald Trump is also an Enneagram 8 with a 7 wing. But I feel that as far as if we currently look at the Republican Party as a whole and we generalize them, I feel that they ended up electing the president that most matched the Enneagram. So let's sort that out. Number eight is the challenger. Okay, so they're going to be less concerned with people's feelings. They're going to be less concerned with people feeling special and individual. So we'll get to that in the Democratic video. But as far as as far as the Republican Party, it's very much this independent mindset as far as you pick yourself up by your own bootstraps, you know, that whole mentality. And less concerned with the marginalized in society, more with, hey, those of us who are doers, we're going to do. And you can join our party here if you want to, but they're less concerned about taking care of everybody as the Democratic Party is. That's the way I perceive. They're very, the Republican Party, very much focused on, we can do this, but they're not going to swoop you up and bring you in. It's more like, Join us or we're going to plow through you. It's kind of the mentality there. But they're also about having fun and they're also about freedom. That's definitely part of it. They don't want big government. So uh, you will see that they don't want daddy telling them what, to, what they have to do. They want to be in control of them own, their own selves. And we even saw this with COVID and the mask and all this stuff. You know, that became, became its own political issue. Uh, as far as COVID and all that. So you see this idea of, of self and freedom and being, we're going to take care of ourselves mentality, which is absolutely that eight. And it's absolutely that freedom that you see in sevens. And I'm also going to say it, and please know, I'm a centrist. I'm not a Republican, a Democrat, or even a Libertarian. Okay. So please know that as I'm about to say what I'm about to say. I would tell you that when you compare, if you say which political party out of the main two is the most fun, I'd say Republicans are more fun than Democrats. Right now, Democrats, they've got this identity assigned to them that they are the party poopers because they're wanting to cancel everything. So by default, Republicans seem like they're having more fun. It, that's really how it seems right now. Uh, so that's why I'm going to say we've got the seven wing, but ultimately, what drives the Republican Party? They are the challengers. They are going to plow over you if you're not with them. They don't care so much about your feelings. They don't care so much about the protected class that are being left behind in society. That's not their thing. They want that structure, but they don't want to hand that structure over to the government. So I feel that if we were to look at the Republican Party, we're looking at an, a very strong Enneagram 8 with that seven wing. In contrast to what we would see with the Democratic Party, which is going to have its own video. But what we don't see so much with the Republican Party is, again, helping people, like that being one of the main goals. We don't see you need to just be you and express who you are, like the Enneagram 4. We're not seeing the 2. We're not really seeing the 4 so much. But I definitely feel that that Enneagram 8 is the Republican Party. And they're fun, and they're about more so about being free so there's where you got the seven wing but more so the the eight is what's driving them and i think it only explains that's why donald trump definitely got elected as president i'm curious in the next the next time that a republican uh is elected president what their enneagram will be but i think it is interesting to point out what about this theory that the political parties elect someone with an enneagram that reflects more so who they are. Please tell me what you believe right here.